Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to optimize post-tensioned concrete slabs in RAM concept. In this video, we are going to be focusing on the modeling process that you will use to model distributed tendon quadrilaterals in preparation for post-tensioned optimization. As we turn our attention over to our RAM concept model, we're going to proceed to the layer for which we're going to be creating a distributed tendon layout. And for this example, we are going to be creating a distributed tendon layout in the longitude direction. Now all optimizable objects for post tensioning must be located on a tendon parameter layer. So we're going to go to our longitude tendon parameters standard plan. Once we are on the appropriate layer, we are ready to start defining our optimizable properties for our distributed tendon quadrilateral. To do this, you're going to go to your layer specific toolbar and double click on the distributed tendon quadrilateral icon. Within this dialog, we will start on the general tab and enter our tendon orientation angle, which for this exercise on the longitude direction will be 90 degrees. Next, we're going to take a look at our tendon specification type, and we have two options here. We can enter the effective force or the minimum number of strands. For our model, we're going to go ahead and enter the effective force. Next, we can enter our tendon spacing information and the post-tension ten system that we will be using. For this exercise, we are going to keep the tendon spacing parameter at its default of 4 feet. Now you will want to note that the tendon spacing parameter can affect the overall runtime and the number of ACUs that are consumed. As the spacing decreases, there are more tendons in the model, which will increase the number of balanced forces to calculate and the individual tendons to generate. Now after you've entered all of your general information, you're ready to move on to your optimization criteria. Once you get to the optimization tab, you're going to ensure that your optimized checkbox is selected, which officially instructs RAM concept that this is an optimizable object. Next, you're going to notice that there are fields for entering either the maximum and minimum effective force or the maximum minimum number of strands, depending upon which tendon specification type you had entered in the general tab. For our model, we had requested to enter our information in terms of a minimum and maximum effective force. Now, if there are code limits that impose lower and upper values on this range, such as pre-compression limits, you can specify the limits here so that they are included in the optimization. For our particular model, we are going to ask RAM concept to provide a minimum pre-compression of 125 PSI and a maximum pre-compression of 300 PSI, which basically equates to a minimum effective force of 18 kips per foot and a maximum effective force of 43 kips per foot, assuming our 12 inch thick concrete slab. Once we've entered all of the optimization parameters, we can go ahead and click OK. And now we are ready to start creating our distributed tendon quadrilaterals. Now one of the modeling techniques I'm going to use when laying out my optimizable objects is try as often as possible to click to slab ed edges instead of modeling optimizable objects outside the slab edge. When you have any optimizable objects outside a slab edge, that may increase your ACU consumption and your optimization time. So to reduce the number of optimizable objects, I'm going to click on the slab edge. Next, I'm going to use my engineering judgment when laying out my distributed tendon quadrilaterals. As I take a look at my slab in the longitude direction, I'm going to notice that between grid lines C and D, also between grid lines E and F, and F and G, that these spans represent a four span condition. 
During the center portion of my model, however, between grid lines D and E, I do have a rather large opening. To the north or above the opening, I would have a two-span condition, and to the south or below the opening, I would have a one-span condition. What I'm going to ask Gram Concept to do is to take a look at these different span conditions, and the best way I can do that is to create different quadrilaterals depending upon the span conditions I have in my particular model. So I'm going to start my first quadrilateral along grid line C, and I'm going to advance it over basically to the edge of slab that represents the slab opening. Again, this is a four span condition, so I'm going to create it as its own quadrilateral. Next, I'm going to take a look at the other four span conditions that I have, and I can see that those are over to the right-hand side of that opening. Again, I'm going to click to the slab edge if possible. I'm going to do this process again for my one span and two span conditions both above and below my opening. Now by using your engineering judgment when laying out your quadrilaterals, you're going to ensure that you have the better chance of getting to a fully optimized design. Now that I've covered the main slab with my quadrilaterals, I'm also going to take a look at my slab depression. Now this area is a slightly thinner slab, so to ensure that I still have a minimum and maximum pre-compression of 125 psi and 300 psi respectively, I'm going to redefine their minimum and maximum effective forces. To, so to do that, I can just double click back on this icon, go to the optimization tab, and I'm going to enter a minimum and maximum effective force that's a little more appropriate for a thinner slab. And then I'm going to create my quadrilateral in this particular area. Now to make your modeling easier, you can be feel free to create some construction grid lines on your mesh input layer, perhaps with a CAD background, and also utilize your snaps and command prompts as needed. Now that I've created my main distributed tendons, I also want to discuss the option of adding some additional optimizable distributed tendons. So additional tendons may be required in exterior spans in a distributed tendon layout. So what we're going to do to allow the program to determine whether or not some additional tendons are needed in our exterior spans, I'm going to create an overlapping tendon quadrilateral. And I'm going to set its minimum effective force to zero kips per foot. With this type of modeling technique, what's going to happen is that RAM concept will add some additional distributed tendons only if they're needed in those exterior spans. So let's go ahead and start by defining the default parameters. So I'm going to double click on the default distributed tendon parameters icon, go to the optimization tab and enter a minimum effective force of zero kips per foot. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to decide where on my plan it might be appropriate to add this. And I'm going to say, in my four span conditions, perhaps the exterior spans might need this. But I'm not going to stop my added distributed quadrilateral exactly on the column line. I'm going to choose to run it past the column line about a third of the way to the next span. To enter this information accurately, I'm going to go ahead and use my command prompt in addition to some of my grid intersections. So I'm going to start between grid lines C and D are basically all the way over to the slab opening. I'm going to create my first point and then since I happen to know exactly where I want it to be terminated I'm going to use the command prompt for this. Once you enter your coordinates you can click enter and you can see where it created my next point. Now I can again go back to the command prompt or I could also perhaps use a snap to orthogonal tool. I'm going to use the command prompt for this exercise. And 
and then I can complete this quadrilateral. And then I'm going to continue on for the other areas where I want to allow the program to generate some addis additional distributed tendons if required. So if I take my selection tool, I can double click on those added areas and what I've basically asked RAM Concepts to do is to provide some additional, additional distributed tendons to generate exterior spans only if they will be required. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.